Hi everyone, today is the day of our black wedding dress or goth wedding dress challenge. The challenge is between Marna over at Dolls Rescued and myself. So here is my bride already. I'll do a um we'll do a closer look at her in a moment. But we have got my little Amelia attending the wedding. She's brought her little pet toothless with her as well. And then I've also got this little Cindy who is in the no so bride outfit that I did on a previous video. So let's have a look at the bride. You can see that she has on her long black veil. I sewed that veiling onto some elastic as in a previous tutorial. And then I glued on those black paper roses that I got from eBay. She's got her little skeleton earrings in and I tied a little black ribbon around there. Her something blue is her necklace that she's wearing. It actually doesn't look blue, but it is blue. <laughs> so she's got something old, which is her old earrings. She was wearing those in the goth challenge. Her something new is her we'll call her bouquet her something new her something borrowed is her grandmother's bracelet so something old something new something borrowed is a bracelet and then something blue is the necklace the blue necklace so I made her this little bouquet by joining some black paper roses in with those purpley ones that I had already and I wrapped some ribbon around the stems of them and I actually tied them to her wrist. Her dress has a lace top with a silky lining and I did this, I did a tutorial on this puffball skirt I called it. I did try padding it with some, I actually put some ball wrap in and it did work but I thought it looked a bit odd so I took the bubble wrap out and just left it like that and I decorated it with some lace and then her lace dress goes all the way down to the bottom and she has on some massive boots. Part, part of the reason she has on her massive boots is because they help her stand up easier. And you can see that her veil comes right out there to the back. And I thought, uh, I could have done more. I was thinking, oh, should I put some roses on this peplum thing here? And I was thinking, well, if I, you know, I was a bit worried it would be too much. So I was really pleased with how she came out, actually, really pleased with her. And also her outfit is interchangeable. We'll take off her bouquet. So I did have that just tied round her wrist there. We need to take off her veil. That will just pop off there like that love that veil it's ever so long look at that and also with that veil if you wanted to it's cut in half it's two layers of this mesh and you could put one bit over her head for walking down the aisle another thing i thought with this peplum was that she could actually have it lower down like this look to make her dress look different like that and another thing i thought she could do was I thought she could wear it as a cape too. So it has, it's a three positional pet, well, peplum I'm calling it, but it's uh, really the pom poms, not pom pom. Oh, what do you call them? The puffball skirt, yes. <laughs> Sorry, daft as a brush I am. But if we take this net dress off, underneath her net dress, she has on this it was a top and skirt that i'd used to line the net dress because otherwise she'd be flashing her credentials <laughs> so i also made her this little sequined belt which is like i got it from the car boot and it's actually just a black sequined it's like elastic with black sequins on it so i thought oh if i make her a belt out of that she'll be ready for her evening where as well she's ready for the goth disco. <laughs> I'll link Marna's video in the description box below and I hope you'll pop over and see everyone else's 
hashtag dolls gone goth wedding videos i'm looking forward to seeing everyone's videos it was so much fun when we did the dolls gone goth so yes please do pop over join in i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye for now